This is the birthday blog. Thank you for joining us. Hello, everyone out there. Uh, I know we were being sarcastic last week by saying that nobody's watching this. We know that some people are watching this. It's still very early on. We realize that we were just trying to make fun of ourselves, and and we don't even know if anybody's offended out there. So whatever. We. I just wanted to say that we do appreciate anyone who is supporting all of this stuff. I'm like a uh, teenager. By by doing <laughs> a, a finger heart. Yes. <laughs> yes. So on with the show. Uh, our birthday today is June the 11th. Happy birthday. Uh, this is the birthday blog. A little bit of comedy, a little bit of history. My name is Cass. I am Ty and I. Thank you. And happy birthday, June 11th. We make art based upon birthdays round one, born on this day, June 11th. In the British entertainer category, this hefty comedian who plays Dr. House was born on this day. As a person that loves British culture, uh, you would also recognize him from Fry and Lori or Black Adder. <laughs> what? Black Adder, I'm sorry. Just uh, The Flanders Pigeon Murderer! <laughs> but that's Stephen Fry. <laughs> Stephen Fry, who was in the show with... Uh, the, this, a sketch show with this guy that we're painting who is Dr. House. <laughs> Stephen Fry. Stephen Fry. <laughs> Flanders Pigeon Murderer! This is the most famous quarterback in the 1990s. He played for the 49ers where he won four Super Bowls. Uh, we were really happy to get him in Kansas City. For, we, he played for the Chiefs his, his last few years uh, and he did nothing for us. Hey. Nothing. How about that? All right. And this famous underseas explorer has a June 11th birthday. A great man, explorer, conservationist, biologist, and he still holds the world's record for most s hilarious stereotypical French accent. Example. Oh, um, yeah, okay. I did write some. I'll get to that in a second. Okay, okay. All right. Well, let's get to the answers to round one. Hugh Laurie plays Dr. House. Dr. like Sherlock Holmes type character. Why do you have so Probably one of the best characters of the past 10 years. I'll, I'll give you a um, the season finale. Just Why do you have so many cares? aired? And uh, on it, I'll give you the uh, spoiler alert to it. He plays a dick with a cane. Huh. You know, Hugh Laurie, I believe, has a myoprolosial loxoosism. It's because of his droopy left eye and the way he delivers lines a little more firmly with the right side of his face. You can tell it is uh, could be a case of myocentesis, Croner's disease, or late onset alosoopsism. Let's give him prilexapain, and we'll do a <laughs> spinal tap, uh, standard scratch test, and uh, start him on prolepiform to confirm. So this is your house impression? Just get a cane and say absurd medical words? And then and the pills, too. Uh, Oh, God. Just give me that. Give me the... Stop it. Stop. House. Roadhouse. <laughs> that was absurd. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> this is the great 90s quarterback, Joe Montana. You know, an interesting fact about Joe Montana, his last name is a state. <laughs> really? And this super French guy is Jacques Cousteau. You know, we put several quotes... Uh, you read that one, I'll read this one, you read that one, I'll read that one, okay. I don't know how he sounds, though. It, most stereotypical French accent <laughs> ever. The sea! The great unifier! This man is man's only hope. Now, as never before, the only phrase has a literal meaning. We are in the same boat! Yeah, see, that's very good. That's Jacques <laughs> Cousteau sounds that ridiculous. <laughs> No aquarium, no tank in the marine land, however spacious it may be, can begin to duplicate the conditions of the sea. And no dolphin who inhabits one of those aquariums or one of those marine lands can be considered normal. <laughs> the sea, once it casts its spell, holds one in its net of wonder forever. Dig, dig in wonder a little more. <laughs> of wonder! Forever. It was a little too much, but... <laughs> a lot of people attack the sea. I make a love to the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a real quote? No, no, no. He, he actually said, <laughs> I make love to it. 
I was exaggerating. Okay. I put in C in there an extra okay. time. Thank you, Cass. And on to round two, where the questions are a little harder. In the heartthrob category, this American actor and his giant Adam's apple first starred in Holes, which is a great movie. Yes. But of course, he is the lead in the Transformers movies, and we may have to be stuck with him as the new Indiana Jones. Also born on this day, the original Willy Wonka, but he is also the comic genius of three of the top 100 comedies of all time. And if, the, you, if you count Willy Wonka, that's four. That's four. Four whole. The producers, being another one, Blazing Saddles and Young Frankenstein. Yeah. And all these comedy duo films with Richard Pryor, like like Silver Streak, Stir Crazy, uh, um, Another You, uh, and See No Evil, Hear No Evil. That's probably the best of them. If you're going to watch any of them, that... that uh, with Richard one of Pryor. Them, yeah, one of them's blind and one of them's deaf, and they they got to do shit together. Yeah. It's 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 funny because they make fun of disabled people and black people and white people and 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 black people who are blind. Just all around, and, yeah, all around greatness. Yes, yes, yes. And finally, this iconic football coach gave some of the most inspirational speeches in the history of sports. He coached the Green Bay Packers to two Super Bowls uh, victories and never coached a losing season. Uh, his fedora, trench coat, and glasses made him not only iconic, but you can imagine seeing him on the other side yeah. of the sidelines, how intimidating an image like that Yeah, and you're, you're a coach with like a stupid logo, logo or something yeah. on... and On a sweater. Yeah, yeah. I, and, and you're sitting there with your headset and you look across at that dude. Yeah. You're playing that dude. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's like facing Vader. <laughs> that's what it's like. Yeah. yeah, but he was a really nice guy. He's, yeah, he's not evil. Or, no, no. I mean, we're not saying let's not that. Apply that. He, he was a Nazi. He's just proven fact. I didn't know that. Well, let's see the answers. <laughs> this is. It's good thing he's dead because we just totally libeled him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the answers. This is The original Willy Wonka is Gene Wilder. Uh, married was, to Gilda Radner. Also married to the legendary comic Gilda Radner. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. She he was married. Right. She, she died of cancer. Right. And uh, and received an Oscar nomination for writing, co-writing, uh, Young Frankenstein. With, with Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks. Pretty impressive. And this legendary coach is Vince Lombardi, Vince Nazi. Vince Lombardi. The, <laughs> yes, Nazi Darth Vader <laughs> coach. Vince Lombardi. End the show! <laughs> well, everyone, we have more art for this birthday. Uh, please click the, the link to the next episode to see who wrote the Declaration of Independence. If you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe. We need you. But for Cass and I, I'm Ty and I saying click the link for the history of June the 11th. Darth Vader Nazi. Bowels. <laughs> <laughs>